Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Die Hard Vendetta, where we have captured one of the conspirators to the art theft that seems to be going on, that has been going on in the city, and that would be Mr. Von Leben himself, uh, and brought him back to Century City Police Department, which will undoubtedly be a scene of a shootout, I would imagine, considering the fact that it is a stage in a first-person shooter. Um, it'll also give us probably another chance to talk to Officer Powell, uh, voiced by actual uh, Reginald Vell Johnson, as opposed to all the other actors who are voiced by sound-alikes. So that'll be good to hear his voice again. It is never a bad time when you're hearing the voice of Reginald Vell Johnson. Uh, let's go talk to Lucy McLean in the interrogation room. Too quiet around here. That's why I've got my... Long before the storm. <laughs> That's why I've got my pistol drawn while entering a police station. If you're too tall, you cannot enter this police station. If you're above six foot eight. Take the cops out, now. All right. I was expecting a longer build-up to um, them being under attack. But I guess here we are. Like, uh... Like Max Payne 2... Uh, has a couple levels in the police station. One is more of a plot level, and then the other one becomes a whole, like... Sir, becomes like a whole level in itself. Hmm, proximity mines. Is that a proximity mine? Can I shoot it? Yes, I can. As long as I'm in the general proximity of it. But yeah, Max Payne 2 had like a full plot level. Hmm. Wait, please don't hurt me. I'm just the security guard. Shut up! Or you won't live to see the fireworks. So what's going on here? Thanks, man. Thanks, man. These guys are crazy. I know. Eh, don't mention it. Any idea how many there are? Too many. It's like an army. They rigged the whole place to blow. There are mines everywhere. Ah, oh, ah, take my keys to the armory. You're gonna need all the help you can get. Ooh, and a med kit. I'm guessing that was required for progress in some direction. Just once, I'd like to have a normal work day. A little filing, some coffee and donuts, no guns, no bombs, no hassle. Sorry, you skipped the paperwork. Ah. Yep. Mm. All right, it looks like this med kit is going to have to be used up really soon. You know, it's it's too bad like your character just can't stop, um, can't look up for a very long period of time. 
They didn't invent the technology yet. No, they did. It's just the limitation of the game. Um, alright, let's use a med kit. Also, did I pass up an armory? Because it would have been like he hands me the armory key. Although maybe that was just referring to, yeah, you know, there, there was there wasn't exactly other places I could have gone. All right, so let's go back this way. Can I open up trunks? The answer is no. I was expecting too much. I don't even know what I was expecting when I was thinking about going back to open up a police trunk. Also, the music is quite big. There we go. All right. See, it's tough to aim at the people up top because, you know, they've got the advantage. They've got the high ground. Also, um, if I hear that beep of a proximity mine... I suppose you feel like surrendering yourself. Gruber. No? No? Well, I'll just have to kill you where you are. No. There's an advantage to just running. Do you think you can hide, cowboy? Very, very diehard line. Like, they're, they're definitely trying to mimic the style of... Son of a... Of, um... Wow, of Hans Gruber. Of Al... Run, cop. Run. Hey, what does Frontier want with Von Leben it? Yeah, they've got a photocopier and everything. Oh no, explosion. And a med kit. Excellent. John? Oh, thank God it's you. How you holding up? I felt better, but I'll make it. Listen, they've hacked into the computer system. All communications are down. We can't call for reinforcements. Okay, hang in there. I'll try and get the computers back online. How? I don't know. I'm making this up as I go along. Yeah, that does sound like the John McClane you plan. Hurry. We haven't got much time. Where's Von Leben? I don't know. They don't exactly let reporters have free reign around the police department. Oh, was there another one in there? Son of a... Too quiet around here. Okay, skipping to Thornburg. The calm before the storm. Where's Von Leben? I don't know. They don't exactly let reporters have free reign around the All right, department. let's see if we can do this better. Where there's trouble. You're not giving me any reason to keep you alive. I doesn't know anything. Just shoot. No. No, wait. I'm just an impartial reporter. I came down here for an exclusive. I mean, drop your weapons. There we go. Well, I never thought I'd be pleased to see you. Do as he says. You won't get away with this. Sure I will. Drop, drop your guns. Faster. You can't win, it's over. gruber has got something special for you. And then just handcuff yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How can I repay you? A high five. Well, you can start by getting out of my face. What the hell are you doing here anyway? Trying to get an interview with Von Leben. Exclusive, naturally. Tell me everything you know, and if you fuck with me, I will kill you myself. I heard them say that they've wired explosives to the two main entrance doors. They're booby-trapped. If anyone tries to get in from outside, boom. We'll have to deactivate them, and it's gonna take some time. 
Hmm. All right. So we've at least cleared the first section of the level. So I don't have to play that section of the level again. Thornburg, don't move. I'm going to handle this. McLean, do you really expect me to sit here and get killed by some mercy? Yes. Do I have a med kit? Yes, I do. And I also have the armory key as well, despite the fact that apparently you can just arrest the hostages. If you're in, like, the stealth mode doesn't care. Oh, hello. Oh, there's the med kit over there. Sir. Okay, that does nothing. You know, this helicopter would be more threatening if I was on the other side of that gunfire. Send me the bill for this. Thanks for coming back. Can I just shoot these doors? I mean, that would be so much easier than. I mean, like, there's everything's already blown up. Why not just add a couple more doors to the process? How does it feel to be on the other side of a whipping? <laughs> Drop your piece, or Al gets a new hole in his head. Ah, it's Powell. Al, how you doing? I'll survive. Nothing broken. Tougher than these fools realize. You sure? What was that noise? We've got more guests. Al, where are you going? We're clear. Are you okay, cowboy? Sure. Yeah, there's more where they came from. They've overrun the station. John, we've got to get the communications computers back up, or we're all screwed. I know, but my technical skills are a little out of date. I still can't set the clock on my VCR. Yeah, that's about the level of my skill. But we need someone who can fix them. Hold on, there's that Dowd character. We brought him in this morning. Yeah, he was caught hacking into his company's payroll. It seems this guy's got a talent with computers. Okay, well let's see if Mr. Dowd can earn himself a reprieve. He'd be down in the holding cells, let's go. Uh, ow! Uh, oh! Whoa, looks like you're not as tough as you thought. I guess not. Damn. Look, I'm okay. Let's go. You sure? Not this time. Look, you just rest here. Hell, after all those donuts, you just slow me down. Sorry, cowboy. Look, I'll keep an eye over the main entrance. And remember, just free Dowd. We've got some real crazies in the cells. No problem. Anything else inside this room? Also, a convenient way for uh, them to not have to worry about giving... I smell bacon. Uh... Officer Powell, more lines. Ah. What were these guys doing just crowded around the door? Also, a med kit. Excellent. That means I've got two or three. Three. Three med kits. Ah, ah. Ah, I love counting med kits. All right. Uh, no, no. Mm. Two med kits. Uh, uh. Hold on. Where 
is the key not I have the key for the door. Ah, got some body armor. Excellent. Nothing. Ooh, a combat shotgun. Neat. I didn't even realize there was a shotgun in this game. Let's try it out. See if it's any good. Oh, we got God. ourselves some rats. No, 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 no! Please, no! Shut up. Animals. You're only getting what you deserve. Fuck. Why didn't you stop that, John? Because you'd be dead too, asshole. Hmm. I'm not terribly impressed. Are you gonna tell me what I need to know? I got all the time in the world. Up. I am not impressed. And oh my gosh, I'm almost dead. Or no, that was my body armor. Still. Okay, so I'm almost out of body armor. These guys are dead. Alright, I'm very unimpressed by the... by the combat shotgun. So, these things are beyond me. All right. Oh, I probably need one of those, um, those explosive diffusers in order to get rid of the, uh, Oh, the door is locked. Oh, it's Lucy. Maybe. Lucy, what are you doing in there? Dad, is that you? Oh, thank God. They've mined the door. If we try and open it, we're toast. Hmm. Okay, move away from the door. Get yourself to the back of the room. I'm gonna shoot the glass out. Oh, okay. that was also my plan. Oh, there's Von Leben. Yeah. Hope is going to kill us all. You're just prolonging the inevitable. Shut I mean, up. isn't that life in general? And try to be a bit more optimistic, huh? Use. It's bulletproof. There's gotta be another way. Look, I'm going to try smashing it with this chair. Stand back. Okay. It buckled slightly. Listen, try shooting the glass at exactly the same time that I hit it with the chair. Sure, why not? Okay, on three. One, two, three. Try again. Okay, on three. One, two, three. Try again. Okay, on three. One, two, three. Try again. Okay, on three. One, two, three. Try How again. precise are they expecting me to do? Okay, on three. One, In two, three. Try again. Okay. On three. One, two, three. It worked. See what you can achieve with teamwork. Yes, I'm glad we achieved it. What happened? Frontier shot him, took his interview transcript and a list of the stolen art. This isn't just about art. It's revenge on crazy. What are you talking about? Uber. 
He has plans for you, and this entire city. Why should we trust you? You're his partner, after all. If I had known about his true intentions, I would have broken off our deal. All I wanted was paintings. <coughs> You're running out of time. Dad, we need to bypass the lock on the communications mm. computer and deactivate the explosives. And we need those documents. It's our case. All right. I'm with you. But this thing is turning into way more than an art robbery. Here's the keys to the holding cells. I'll try to patch up Von Leibn. Oh. As soon as the doors are clear, I'll help you catch Frontier. I'm okay, Dad. But you should hurry. We haven't got much time. All right. Well, let's go grab the hacker dude. Is it you? Or you? What's your name? Look, there's been some mistake. I shouldn't be in here. Yeah, everyone's innocent. I asked you, what's your name? Uh, Herbert Dowd? Whoops. Good thing that was empty. The computer guy. Well, I suppose. Look, I didn't mean to access those files. Can you hack into the police computer system? That's illegal. I don't have time for moral arguments right now. Can that wasn't really a moral sure, argument. no problem. Just take me to them. Are you... Behind me? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Sir. Faster. A little bit faster. Any sort of speed will be useful. You can, you can go with speed one, you can go with speed two. At least Jeremy Irons was in speed two. He was also the villain of Die Hard 3. Oh my gosh. Sit. Pull up a chair if you want. Impressive how he's able to do that with the you know, computer screen off. We should get some more security. All right. So now that I've done that, remember we need that suitcase. Now what do I do? All right. Deactivate the bomb blocking the main entrance. Obtain the evidence suitcase. I'm wearing the SWAT vest. Hmm. So now that I've done that, what do I do now? Not a lot of my league. What I need is some kind of explosives expert. Okay. Where do I find an explosives expert? Do I also go to the, um, to the holding cells for help in regards to that? I guess let's go talk to the other people in the ho holding cells. Maybe we'll find an another expert who the police are just keeping on lockup until the time they are needed most. You know anything about explosives? What, like the ones this building is wrapped in? That'll do, for starters. Well, I should. I designed them. Well, I know two other things, Holmes. First, there's enough explosives here to flatten this building. And second, I'm the only motherfucker in this place who can disarm them. So you must be Nitric. 
capture that local cop, John McClane. I thought you like blowing the shit out of buildings, eh? I mean, sometimes. Now, if those bombs blow, they'll take you out too. And I'm sure you wouldn't want that now, would we? So, against my better judgment, I'm gonna let you out to disarm those bombs. Oh, and any quick move you might make would be your last. Don't worry about me, cop. Today is not a good day to die. Did the movie Good Day to Die Hard exist Do when, thing, man, but be quick. when this video game released? I want to say the answer is no. Because this was the GameCube, so GameCube would be like early thousands. So yeah, I don't even think Live Free or Die Hard existed yet. Oh my gosh, are you also going to walk really, really, really slowly? We're going to cut directly to the explosives. Still interesting that this game even provides like a tutorial on how to def defuse bombs. While having a plot point that involves me getting somebody else to defuse bombs. Okay. How far? I'm serious. Get further back, eh? Is this setting up him for failure? Is he just going to blow up? I don't blame him, but still. Isn't there a helicopter? Like, isn't there the, per the helicopter? Oh my gosh. I was not expecting the car to blow up. Well, let's try that again. How many times? I don't. I have yet to die in this game because I've run out of health uh, by just regular combat. I've only died due to hostage deaths and due to like instant deaths. Oh, is that the documents? Yeah. Excellent. Now who's shooting at me? Yeah, they're... they're they're not necessarily smart enough to get into cover, but that's okay. There's not really that much cover. And I suppose I'm not exactly smart enough to get into cover. Okay. Are you dead yet? Yes. Is this, um, a boss pay, maybe? John, look out. McLean. Oh, everybody Wait, showed up for this. Don't do anything until I get the camera. John McLean. We meet at last. Dad? And his daughter. This is perfect. Grab her. Nitric! You'll never get away with this girl. Oh, but I am. 
No, Van Lepen! Get her in the chopper. Lucy! Just a little insurance, that's all. I won't let Frontier damage her. Yet. You touch her, and you're a dead man! You hear me? Let's go. I'm right behind you, Gruber. All right. I fired a lot of shots. That's okay. Um, all right. I guess let's stop here for the night. Got any suggestions for someone to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.